What's going on guys? Dylan Conrad, DC Fitness. Go to dcfitness.la to sign up for coaching today. I'm gonna talk to you about my first ever fight. Everyone remembers their first fight. I was in middle school, ate you right, Calabasas. It was a stark contrast to the beautiful homes and, and mountains that surrounded it. It was a war zone there. It was like really beat down. Um, there were no maids, there were no parents and Gucci and Chanel. There was just kids bullying each other for absolutely no reason, um, you know, where a lot of like my insecurities and people coming after me for uh, having man boobs and, and being overweight, that's where it all happened. And um, it's, yeah, my first fight. So I was on the football field and, um, you know, things got pretty rough. We we're, we we're pretty far away. The football field was here. All the buildings were here, so like all the administrators would stay over here. We liked to play there because none of the administrators would come there. And we could, we would tackle each other and just super fun. But I remember after a play, I pushed someone. Someone came up from the side of me, choked me out, said, don't fuck with Jordan. And uh, I started crying and I fell to the ground. And I was crying for like almost the rest of the day. And I had two older brothers, one of which, middle brother, is uh, a crazy person and got into a ton of fights. It's another story for another time. But I was like, oh, my brother's gonna mess this guy up. Da -da -da, I'm gonna send him on him. And I was just like crying and I cried a lot. And I cried when I struck out in baseball. I cried when I didn't get my way with something. I cried when my older brothers punked me. I was just a crybaby. I was so entitled. I was weak mentally and I was just super spoiled. And fast forward, right? I'm at age 12 in middle school, maybe younger. And fast forward, I'm 35. I wake up every single day at 4 a.m. I train seven days a week hard. I drink two gallons of water. I hit my macros every single day. I run a business, I coach people. And how did I like have this stark contrast? And I wanna tell you four things that I did that you guys can put in immediately to discipline and build that mental toughness that is going to lead to you getting to whatever end result that is and really being able to help other people because that's the whole mission here. Right? The whole mission here is to be the best version of you so you can inspire, so you can help other people, so you can come from a place of help way better, changing the world just one transformation one day at a time. Okay, So four things I did. One is with my nutrition and my training, I made that shit as hard as possible. Every single day I go in the gym, I take almost every set to failure and that basically means that you literally cannot get up anymore. It is... Uh, brutal, it hurts a lot, it's a lot of pain, and there's something beautiful about working through it because once you hit failure, A, you have so much energy for the rest of the day, but also you just realize what your potential is, and every single time you do it, it builds more and more mental toughness because the rest of your day, if you're stressing your body that hard, you're literally working out to failure, taking your muscles to failure, which is probably the greatest pain in the world, besides dying, sometimes it feels like that, is, is gonna lead to a lot more mental toughness, right? So like you're in a fight with your, your spouse, you're working a ton of hours, everything else just seems so easy the more you train to failure. Macros, hit those every day, it's now easy for me, so to make it harder, I am meal prepping, I am doing a lot of stuff, I'm trying to take care of my wife's food, and I'm doing more and more stuff that's gonna make it harder for me, so when it actually does get hard, when I don't have sleep, when I, you know, I'm stressed to the gills, I'm working a ton of hours, uh, you know, maybe me and the wife got in a little argument, it's gonna be so much easier for me to adhere to and have that mental toughness. So that's number one, is just making that nutrition, making that training. If it's easy for you right now, figure out ways that you can actually make it harder. You're self-eliciting, uh, being more hard on yourself, okay? Number two, count your macros daily. We don't count our macros to see results, that's a byproduct. We count our macros daily to have discipline because it is the hardest thing you can do nutritionally, but it's also the most rewarding. And not just in the results, like yeah, that's the fastest way to get results, but it's the most rewarding because you see how much discipline you have. So when you have discipline, it leads to financial discipline, it leads to lifestyle discipline, it leads to a lot of different disciplines that you can have a better life with. So that's number two. Number three, it's the hardest. Wake up earlier. You wake up at 6 a.m., cool, wake up at five. You wake up at 5 a.m., cool, wake up at 4 a.m. This is the hardest thing you can do. Okay, and the number one pe reason that people quit is because it gets too hard, right? It gets too hard, they can't handle it anymore. What's the hardest thing you can do? Waking up early, leaving that soft pillow, that, that bed, and you're just like, oh my God, getting to an alarm, it's hard. 
right? But if you can do that every single day, you're gonna build up so much callus in your mind that you are never gonna quit whatever comes up and you'll just be able to smash through your training nutrition every single day. Number four, developing self-awareness and developing a purpose. For me, and my purpose is to enroll, inspire, serve others, right? And it's really having that self-awareness throughout the day and that's something that training nutrition gave me because I'm so self-aware of my, my, my actions, my thoughts, and when I wanna like stop working, I'm like, okay, well, if I stop working, what are my clients gonna do, right? If I'm, if I'm taking this out, like, you know, this is hard for me, them getting on a brand new program is super hard, right? Hitting the training, hitting the nutrition. So like, how can I expect them to do it if I can't do it? And so having that purpose for me is bettering everyone else, my clients, my family, everyone around me that I can help, I am trying to better them. So finding what that purpose is, and it can't be about you. It's that deep why, it's a deep reason that you're getting it done. It can be something, greater power, someone else, a group of people, whatever it is, because that's gonna help you push through. When you're on like, that last rep, you're like, oh my God, like, but you bring in the thought of like, oh my God, I wanna be a, a role model and have my kids look at me like in a different light. You just put all the emphasis out of you and you're not even thinking about your muscles, you're not even thinking about them and you probably squeeze on a bunch more reps, okay? Someone said 40% rule, that we are only pushing at 40% of our capacity and I 100% agree with that. So take all four of these, they're awesome. Wake up early, push your workouts, um, count your macros and develop a massive amount of self-awareness. So hope this helps. Love you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, yeah, let's get after it. Go to dcfitness.la and sign up for coaching.